what is all tonight about? Why are we here? What, what is, what's happening? Well, finally somebody, and it was my fine ass friend, Rachel Riley, put together a rap party for a couple of films, Frankenstein in a Women's Prison, and then the prequel, which was also a sequel, Dracula in a Women's Prison. How could a prequel be a sequel? It's both. Okay. All right. You know, you were in it. I, I, I was. Well, I was in Dracula. Now, yeah. tell, us, tell us about what you played in Dracula in a Women's Prison. I actually came in to be a whip-yielding prison guard. So what kind of prison guard? A whip. With a whip. So oh, I got whipping. to use a whip for a real time, and I couldn't stop, and I kept hitting people with it, mm -hmm. and it was very dangerous. And was I it fun for you? I enjoyed it a lot, immensely. Do you like hurting people? You know what? I'm starting to find out that I do. I do a lot. Well, there's a career for that, you know. I know. It's called uh, producing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what it means. Um, now, uh, we, uh, now, you were in the next one, too. You were in the Frankenstein. What did you play in Frankenstein? Because I was out of town. What, what happened in the Frankenstein movie? The Frankenstein one is a bit more Scooby-Doo in plot line. So you have your crew of... Scooby-Doo. I'm trying to get Scooby-Doo and Frankenstein. How does that work together? So you just have, like, your team of, like, hot-looking younglings that are going on a mystery. Okay. So you're like, who's the one in Scooby-Doo? There's, like, a... Which I... one? I was very much so like Velma. I was the hot, nerdy bitch that you just love, that kicks ass. Because you're kind of the spunky, and you wear glasses a lot. Where are your glasses? I didn't bring them tonight because I'm drunk, and they don't help me anyway when I'm drinking. Wow. We just seem to, I don't know, our careers keep pa you know, crossing paths. And I always, anytime there's a project, I do recommend you because you're very you know, wonderful and great on camera. Thank you. And we're having fun at the Movie and Music Network as well. Yes, we are. That is so fun. Now, you're uh, kind of a fetishy model. Kind of uh, not too hard, but tell us about your fetish career. Fetishy is a good word. I love fetish. I love everything about the fetish world, but I am more into the fashion of it personally. So I'm not particularly a fetish a participant. But I love the latex, the high heels, the ropes, the chains. I love wearing that shit and photographing in it. So I like wearing all that, too. I know. I'm wearing rubber underwear with spikes right now. We're matchers. I know. It's awesome. Um, so, now, do you have a site? People can look you up and um, fondle themselves? Oh, absolutely. Ginantonic.com. J-I-N-N tonic. What, what, why gin and tonic? Uh, Where did that name come from? Yeah, okay. Too much too much alcohol apparently. It came from drinking a lot. It came from drinking a lot. It really did. Now your career's booming, man. You know, you got these movies going, you got other things happening, Girls and Corpses magazine. What's what's next? You're gonna rule the world? What what's gonna happen? Well I am on the path to world domination, that is true. I'm building my J and T army every day. Uh, but definitely next up is my T V career, especially co starring in our co hosting, excuse me, in your co starring. TV show. Well yeah, I mean you play well, essentially. A, you are our uh, bar mistress and you live in a dungeon under the set. It happens. It happens. Now we see your tatas uh, frequently. Lot. <laughs> <laughs> They're lovely. No, are they in all three mo in the, the movies? You know, they are. I've kind of become like the tits for hire, and that's all right. Like, I like them. And well, I don't think that's just why they hire you. They're, they're lovely, but there's a lot of girls who will take their tops off. But that's true. your tits are lovely, and you can act. So. Thank you. Anyhow. It's like the icing on the cake.